Hi, right, Ulysses sure is a grumpy Gus. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, The Lonesome Road. I'm the Serious JG. So, I think I'm gradually piecing together what the hell this whole DLC is about. There was this whole area that Ulysses at least referred to as The Divide, where there were people living and they were trading and they were building a society... Uh, and he claims that the courier built it because it was a supply line. So these are little trading hubs that the courier's own direct activity as a courier created somehow in our past that we don't know. It, part of what makes it so difficult is that, like, okay, the player doesn't know what the courier character probably should know about all of this because the courier seems to have terrible amnesia or something. But um, <laughs> there's Eddie floating around in this whole time. But... Um, we delivered a package here, which was some kind of technology. It, it, I don't know if we're ever going to get behind. Well, who who did we deliver it for? It, did the person who had it delivered know what it was going to do? But we delivered some kind of technology that actually, after we left, blew up the divide and killed everyone there. And now all we've got left are some weird, specially irradiated guys. And the tunnelers, who may have already been there, because I think they're like mutant, mutated... Uh, remains of people who died in the actual nuclear war coming to the surface. But yeah, he basically blames us for building up something good and then destroying it through our own carelessness. And I think I'm starting to glean from what he's saying that he either can launch missiles or has the device that will activate dormant missiles under the surface. Because he's basically saying that, oh yeah, you want to come, I, I want to have a face-off with you to, to settle once and for all what all this really means, and then I'm going to use nukes to blow up either the NCR or the Legion. So, yikes. If you wanted me to come to the Divide, I'm here. Now what? Your roads are not done. Haven't walked it full yet. Not There's 30 more enough. videos of fighting tumblers to go. Way ahead and below leads to the heart of the Divide. And there, you and I you have an ending to things. I'm not done talking to you. There's more I want to know. <laughs> I'm going to tell talk to him. This canyon is miles long, maybe longer. Where can I find you? Enough of this. Tell me where you are. I'm not done talking to you yet. There's more I want to know. I already heard you once, long ago, and loud enough for history to hear. Tired of your messages. Oh, no, come on now, Ulysses. You're too yeah. much of a coward and champion yeah, not to listen to my messages. Let's see what else it can do. You said you made a promise not to kill me. Why? Isar's orders. Sometime before, I realized the why of it. Wasn't just you. All couriers. No telling how many were legion. Maybe all of them. Wasn't sure about you until the divide. All the NCR burning. That much death. It bears the mark of a legion hand. Why, thank you. But you killed like NCR. Like Hanlon. With mines, bombs, missiles. Killed legion along with the bear. Like a coward. Kills from a distance. You gotta have a melee builder. I won't respect you. you. legion. And NCR beat you. The West changed you. What if I was never Legion because Legion's stupid? I know that now. Doesn't change what was done. The Legion who died here. Even if you were Legion, Well, I guess we're getting more talk. You say that I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm tired of your messages. But here we are, chatting away. What's our history? How do you know me? We'll be buddies. I knew all of you. Your name. Your road to and from the Divide. What that meant for the Legion. We never spoke, knew you through your actions, knew you'd walked the west as I'd walked the east, learned different lessons. Obsessed with you for no and real I reason. I never have discovered the divide without you. With or without you. Which I just love, what was that little... I want to talk more about your recordings I found here in the divide. You scavenge words, things I have no need of. No history there worth recounting. Which is why it's weird I recorded them. Scour the divide. Claw at it for meaning. But my words will give you no answer. Well, what about the fact that you, uh... 
or advertising the other DLCs? I've been collecting them. Listen to you talk about history enough, maybe I'll understand. They won't help you understand what happened here. And they won't help you understand me. Keep them. Listen. Study them. They won't help you here in the Divide. It's just a worthless fetch quest. I haven't listened to them all. There's time I will. As I said before, it's of no consequence. Never intended you to find them. Never intended you to hear it's them. It's not part of my master plan. I'm not Where's Nobunaga. I can't stay. control all events. This isn't Warriors Orochi. You won't be the one to give them. Oh my. You wouldn't have recorded those messages if they didn't matter to you. Yeah! Maybe not. Who's to say? Me, I just said it. You, perhaps. Found them. Heard them after I cast them aside. Maybe there was purpose in that. If they matter. If history matters. We'll see at the end of the road. Well, now I have this feeling like if you collect all of his freaking recordings, you get a different ending, which is annoying because... In the logs, you mentioned a tribe called the Twisted Hairs. You were tribe? Twisted Hairs are dead. Lost at dry wells. Died in Wolpus's smile. Won't discuss their fate with you. Not now. Their past is mine to keep. As long as I don't talk to anyone else about it, no one else will ever know and they'll truly be dead. Face to face, you might earn more. Now let the words keep you without me adding to them. When we meet face to face, there'll be at least two 30 minute videos worth of discussion before we have a fight, which will be one, one way or another within a couple of seconds. The logs of the Big Empty mentioned you'd spoken to, of, to history. What? The logs of the Big Empty mentioned you'd spoken to history? I had. Did. It was madness. Ask them a question in anger. Not an answer. More than I expected. Those guys are weird, huh? It's not just me, they were weird. You thought they were weird, didn't you? The how of it. And that was enough. The tape has the telling of it. Don't need me adding to the questions already there. Before I go any further, I deserve some answers. Wait a minute. What have we been doing for the last two hours? You've seen the divide. Walked it. Farther than I thought you would. Not sure how much farther you have in you. You and me both, buddy. If you need answers, speak. You've earned them. Even if only you and I can carry them from here. Okay, what was the deal with that villain from the first DLC? Like, because he popped up in the big empty too, and I kind of lost the thread of that. I want to know more about this package I delivered. You know what it was. It had symbols of America on it. New markings. From after the Great War. Wait, what? Thought it might be America come again. Promise of another future. Another flag. A Mississippi flag with no uh, stars and bars on it. But what was it? I mean, come on. Just fucking tell me what it was, would you? It was a piece of machinery. Military. Holding memories. Codes, maybe. When it woke, made these sounds. Words. Started saying, Exterminate. When it spoke. The divide became fire. The ground tore apart like the skies. Through it all, kept calling out. Maybe calling for home. Where's the package? Yeah, okay, here's where we're going. I think he has it, and I think he's planning to use it to kill the NCR. Buried in the divide. Well, never mind then. Part of it now. Unless that's where we're heading. Wherever it is. It's been silent. If it spoke again, we'd know. Well, maybe it's saying something other than blow up codes. What do you mean, when it woke? Did it suddenly become aware of black culture? Machine couldn't speak by itself. Needed a terminal to access it. Like the terminals in the silos here. Or the machine with you. The one that's talking to you right now. I'm the real Eddie, by the way. It started speaking, and the divide answered. That's more... There's more I need to know. If I have the answers, you've earned them. This canyon is miles long, maybe longer. I'm getting tired of this DLC. When will it end? 
At the end of the divide, through the trenches and wreckage, that's where you'll find me. A new home, here, amongst dead men. You and that machine. Keep your eyes on the tower that cuts the horizon. You'll find your way. Made it this far. Not much farther to go. Okay, that's good to hear, because he implied that we had a lot further to go. Uncovered. Okay, so we got one more reference to our past to find, and there's enemies ahead. I do not want to have to repeat all that dialogue, even if I'm just like skipping through it at maximum speed. Let's go into the sunset together, Ulysses. Okay, I thought those were rockets being fired at me, and maybe they were. I believe that is what's going on, actually. I think we're going to have some enemies down here below. It's a mole rat. Do I want to pump missiles into it? Probably not necessary. Let's actually get a look at what this place looks like. I might regret it, but I did save, so. Oh, it's one of you. You something, you can go home, courier. <laughs> I'll do the fighting from now on. You can just go home. Sorry, Mr. Molrat. Apparently, I haven't bloated up enough. Doesn't really seem like this is the right path to continue. Oh, I'm I. I think I gotta go back and get that other gear. I'm, uh, this sneak vision is driving me nuts. But my natural way of playing this game is creeping around, trying to avoid detection, even when I'm using like a a big damage build. Oh, we can see what we look like in our cool riot gear. Oh, that's a weird look. You see, old sniper rifle gauge just to. Oh well, never mind. There's another missile that I'm meant to be shooting at. And I thirsty work blowing up nuclear missiles. Let's have some more of that cave fungus. No, that doesn't do anything for our um Cave Fungus is worn off. Say, USA. There's a American flag. Some rockets? Yeah, there's hoping there'd be some rockets. And there are rockets, so my hopes were answered.
Got all these enemies down here, but I, I'm not being allowed to snipe them from up on high. The Divide. See, I'm not clear on whether anybody who lived in the Divide called it the Divide, or if this is all just a bunch of stuff that Ulysses did. Courier 6, question mark? The Divide, sponsored by Pepsi. Oh, it's a night vision. So it's not that helmet that's causing it. It's like some stupid-ass night vision perk I picked up along the way. I really feel like I'm about to start setting off mines and tripwires all over the place here. Paint the lands. Actually, nothing in there I really want. Well, Sunset Sarsaparilla at least gives you some caps. I'm very close to being out of uh, room for any inventory. Yeah, what is the use in buying a car if you won't buy gasoline? Come on, folks. Use your heads here. I'll know that this DLC is too long if I manage to work through all 178 bobby pins. See, true police story. It seems like I just need to use that right away. Is it a magazine? I don't think it's permanent. <laughs> I've never seen a robot like that before. It might be dangerous. It might be possessed by Ulysses. Look, he's hurt. Can we take him home, Dad? Maybe Mom can fix it. I know you can't. I don't know, son. What if someone comes looking for it? Like the Enclave. Please. He looks so lonely. Maybe if Mom fixes him, he can help her out around the garage. Bombo will be my right, friend. Boy. But if he breaks anything, it's coming out of your allowance. It's a dangerous piece of enclave technology. Sounds like the pretty, pretty sound like the kid is pretty fond of you. Why did you leave? Oh, kid got killed by ya Yao Guais. Where did this happen? <laughs> Illinois. So that's where you got that plate. The other you, I mean. What's a Chicago? <laughs> Expository beeping. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Let's go. I wonder how many experience points we get for listening to Eddie explain the concept of a Chicago. Alright, whatever. I mean, maybe we would have been encountering some enemies if I hadn't blown up the missiles from way up above, but... Okay, it's temporary, the true police stories. That makes sense. I just, like, I can detect all these... Oh, it's probably the fucking tunnelers, then. Damn it, they probably don't pop up until you walk around nearby and make noise, and then they emerge from the ground. I'm really, like, you know... I like trying to use sniper rifle builds in these games, and, uh... So rarely do they give you these... Like, here, I'm like... 
I'm up in an elevated position. I could really do some damage before I expose myself. And, like, the game's like, nah. There's all these red blips so you know there's hostiles. But uh, you can't do a damn thing about any of them. Okay, I will be overburdened now. That's okay. Eddie can start carrying around my cave fungus. <laughs> Maybe. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think I'll just put everything except the. Uh... No, not the dirty water. This might give me an idea about just how much. Am I overdoing it as far as carrying this stuff around? If I suddenly find that. If I give it all to him, I've got a. Uh... No, not right away. Anything that I'll actually use, I'll keep. I'll, yeah. Sierra Madre Martini, steady. Oh, I have a lot of stealth boys. This doesn't actually make any kind of logical sense. I'm just wondering. This would be my chance to find out just how much does all that stuff weigh. And really, it's not that much. It's not... And I know I'm still holding on to the purified waters, which weigh quite a bit. And all the uh, stealth boys, which weigh a little bit. But it's not the aid that's doing it, then. So is it the miscellaneous? Because very few of these things actually have any weight. The ones that I'm actually carrying with me don't have any weight. So I think it is. I just... I can't have, like, five different weapons and full ammo for all those weapons. That's what it really is going to come down to. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, I've got it down to 202 out of 230. When other than a little bit of water and uh, Rad X... I've given away... Well, the Radix doesn't even have to wait. Other than a little bit of water, I've given away all the eight items that have any weight at all. I just... I can't have a plasma rifle, plus the red glare rocket launcher, plus the nail gun, plus the sniper rifle, plus the sonic emitter, and have all of them carrying around ammo. Did I actually give... Oh, man. Please tell me that I didn't... Okay, I did. Stop for a minute there. I didn't actually complete the transaction. So, yeah. I just got to pick a weapon that I'm not going to be using and get rid of it. And uh, as much damage as it does, that sonic emitter kicks ass against robots, but against all these little guys that charge you, it's just, it's not effective. I might just need to start leaving it behind. But it's too bad, because this is one of my favorite weapons. If you can actually get some distance from your enemies. So my arms are crippled. I don't even remember what that really does. What did I just pick up? I thought I was, uh... I was convinced that that was, uh... Let's sleep for an hour. See if that restores our limbs. Doesn't look like it did. But we're happy. We're in a good mood for somebody whose legs got blown off. I thought I, uh, I don't know what I picked up because I thought I had found, uh,
probably picked up like a mutilated leg or some crap. God, there's enemies everywhere too. Hold the line. Well, you know, a super sledge is worth selling. Now, oh, fuck. Exactly the wrong... Okay. I was just thinking I'll grab these things and then I'll head back someplace where I can sell them at the commissary, fix my, la or fix my arms, and then boom. Suddenly, uh, all hell breaks loose. And I'm carrying a bunch of extra weight. Trying to Eddie, I'm trying. Well, that's interesting. Eddie got uh, one of them. Why is my oh my hit percentages are crap because my uh, limbs are blowed up probably. Okay, well that at least makes sense. Well, I should have saved, I guess, because I'm gonna die here. Um, Really should just consider running away. Yeah. So I hit something that blew both of my arm, and again, took the perk to take reduced limb damage, but still, something I don't even know what it was blew my leg, our arms off. And uh, after that happened, I would. Oh, well, this is where I fell asleep. Okay, so... So I guess the good news is... Um, because we did the bedroll, we got an autosave. Which should mean... Ulysses Temple, the Courier's Mile. Yeah, we can fast travel back here. So basically, that last battle didn't happen. <laughs> We can just kind of... Okay, so that's perfect. I was thinking, like, oh, man, I got to go all the way back down the steps. And we had all this time where I knew there were enemies but wasn't being allowed to do anything about them. And, and now I can actually try to do something about them. Instead, we take the lift in here. Oh, man, it's... Uh, well, just tell me we don't have to fight those fucking monsters again. Okay, we skipped that. Oops, wrong way. I'm gonna find the medical uh, zone. Well, I guess this was it. No, physical dam. And this should fix my arms. We can quick confirm. Yep. Okay. So, I think we just got to, um... See, this thing only weighs one pound? Well, I almost never use the nail gun. It only does 10 damage. It does bonus limb damage, but frankly, the dam overall damage is too low. The only thing I would be using it on is those um, crawler dudes, and I'm using the plasma rifle on them. So one way I can reduce my weight is just not carrying around all those freaking nails. And that nail gun. Oh, ammo. 
Well, it's not that much weight, really, but... Yeah, I was going to drop this off, but I didn't realize how little uh, it weighs. Now, I could not carry every single E-cell I have. I just want to bear in mind where I left these, because it would be kind of wasteful to forget about them. Oh, this is how many I'm dropping. I want to drop probably most of them. And what else am I not using? Flare gun frightens abominations. I'm not using it. I, I guess I should be, but I'm not. Plasma rifles. Red glare is obviously the heaviest, and those rockets are expensive too. They've got me out of some tough spots before, though. I hate the idea of playing through this DLC without using this kick ass super whoppet of the DLC, though. Fuck it, I'm taking the rocket launcher with me, I don't care. This is too cool. Uh, oh. I'll take a hundred rockets. How's that? And I'll know, and I'll have more rockets. I'll, I'll know I have more rockets I can come back for. So that leaves us with the shish kebab, which is just three pounds, no other requirements. Sniper rifle, which is just my main I like to use. I'm bringing this along with reduced ammo. It was the ammo. It was the ammo that was doing it. Because I even have most of my weapons with me. I'm just not carrying around a ludicrous amount of ammo for each one. And I've suddenly got a lot more carrying capacity than I had. And while I'm here, let's go, um, let's go back to the gear that we came in with, because it was the lightest. Rebreather doesn't, doesn't weigh anything, and if I come across water, I can do it. It's fine. Be nice if I had some leather armor I could use to repair that. It's worth it. What are you lugging around, Eddie? This video is going slightly long, but I'm going to call it a session here, I think, unfortunately. I've got some other things I need to get done. I might come back to the game later today. It doesn't really affect you one way or the other. Um, that's not what I meant to... Inventory management, come on. Because I think what I found by the time I get all this stuff back is that it didn't really make a difference. It was all that ammo. I mean, maybe it doesn't make sense to be carrying around all this nonsense, but... This pre-war books in particular I need to get rid of. But I like the idea that at any point I could kill a bunch of enemies and then decide... I'm going through my menu looking for stim packs after the battle's over and decide instead I'll have a Sierra Madre Martini.
Mutilated organs. That's what I picked up out there without meaning to. Drop that. It will stay in this desk for all time. There we go. And you're not going to let me fast travel from here, are you? Because you're a jerk. Yeah. So what I'll do to call it a session is I will um, travel back to that zone. And uh, when we come back next time, we'll be ready to continue on with our exciting adventures in knowing enemies are there and not being allowed to target them and having to get up to the point where they are suddenly shooting at you from above because that's why it's nice to get a sniper rifle and to spend a lot of caps customizing it and to put as many points into the perks that make sniper rifles as good as possible so that you can be on high, higher than the enemies uh, but be forced to climb all the way down to ground level so that they're sniping you from above instead that's, that's what I like that's what I want to see more of in my games that I play. See? I mean, they're, they're on top of that building. But they don't exist right now, I, I, I guess. I don't know. One of my pet peeves recently has become listening to people complain about games like they could do so much better in designing a game. But this... Mass Effect did it all the time, too. It's like, we want you to have sniper rifles because we don't think it's a cool, complete game unless you have sniper rifles, but we don't actually want you to be able to use sniper rifles to, like, beat battles because it's tough to give enemies... Uh, it's tough to program enemies that are going to respond competently against sniper rifles. I remember Mass Effect 1. You could snipe stuff from really far away. They would just run back and forth in a panic. They would never pursue you. And then Mass Effect 2 and 3... They gave us these uh, really defined combat arenas where you could you could be in range to snipe where the enemies are going to appear, but they don't spontaneously generate until you're too close to use a sniper rifle. <sighs> I guess I'm just bitter because I got my arms blown off and got killed. But, you know, that would turn a lot of folks uh, bitter. So maybe I need to set this down and come back when I'm in a better mood. Uh, to that end, see you guys next time. And remember, it's your fault the divide was destroyed, but it's also your fault it was created. Somehow everything is your fault. That's what I, Ulysses, say.